This is an excellent video on how Polo five day fasting program will actually rebuild your body. And uh, Dr. Longo talks about stem cells and how they're the basic material of her rebuilding. So I'm going to play the video. Yeah, it makes so much sense. Uh, this, I think the safety factor just makes it <laughs> superior. Um, and it sounds as if we really are getting similar or even if even better results with FMD over a water fast. So it sounds pretty excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, so fasting and FMD consider, are considered a healthy aging and longevity diet. What is really the relationship between fasting and aging? Fasting. Yeah, again, um, yeah. again, it's a uh, bad, good and neutral, right? So, uh, yeah. So for the FMD, uh, I can say that now we have lots of studies, we and others. So we, we in many labs have used it against cancer. We use it for, we demonstrated cancer prevention. We demonstrated uh, cancer treatment, particularly in combination with drugs in cancer. It happens to be good mostly if you combine it with the standard of care drugs. For diabetes, not at all, right? The FMD alone is very powerful, right? And, and then if you do FMD plus a good diet, it's even better. Um, so, um, yeah, so I think that um, uh, FMD cycles, uh, as we've shown in, of course, you cannot do a human uh, longevity study, but uh, we've now done many clinical trials on humans. And if you look at inflam systemic inflammation, uh, levels of cholesterol, blood pressure, uh, fasting glucose, uh, and now we're doing biological age. So in a few months, we're going to publish on biological age, right? Though, uh, using uh, various systems. Uh, so, yeah, if you put all this together, then you get the sense that uh, it's affecting the aging process. And, uh, and by affecting the aging process and more, it's affecting all these risk factors and biomarkers for aging and, and diseases. So not only will we age health, it's more about aging healthy without disease, really. That's the, that's the whole point here. I mean, we, we all want to live a lengthy life, yet we want to be healthy while living that long life. So, Yeah, yeah I think it's about uh, aging more slowly. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and I think, uh, and we've, we started to demonstrate this pretty clearly in the mouse studies, is also turning a little bit the clock back, right? So, so we damage, for example, the pancreas of mice, and then we see that the FMDs and refeeding cycles, and that's another interesting thing, that the refeeding seems to be as important as the fasting mimicking diet. Why? Well, probably because we see that the FMD, and I'm just going to call it for FMD from now on, the FMD turns on the stem cells and these regenerative, embryonic-like regenerative programs. Why is that? Well, probably back in the history of many different organisms, the starvation moment represents a, a, a moment where you get rid of a lot of junk and then uh, you shrink, right? So you get rid of damaged components and you shrink. And, and this is, may justify why it kills cancer cells. It kills autoimmune cells. Uh, it, it reverses or may kill insulin resistance cells. But then when you refeed, when you go back to the normal diet, this is the moment where uh, you rebuild. Right? So now we see this, all these developmental genes. So the, the set of genes that you'll only see in a, in a newborn baby or even early in the embryo. Uh, so those are on, right? So that's all turned on. And you never see this in adults. So this is telling us, at least in the mice, that there is a regenerative program, very coordinated one, that is going, that is being turned on during this fasting refeeding. And so this is actually turning the clock back. Why? Because now, you, whether it's the liver, the muscle, uh, the pancreas, the gut, the brain, we see, um, you know, these stem cells going to work and, and uh, you know, the regenerate, regenerating tissue. Now, it doesn't mean, um, now for the blood, we could actually demonstrate that you can start from, from stem cell, what's called uh, um, long-term uh, uh, stem cell, hematopoietic stem cells. Um, 
So you can start from those and build the, the essentially rebuild the entire immune system. But in most cases, because we first irradiate the mice, get rid of the, the immune system, and then rebuild, right? But in most cases, uh, so but that tells you that how powerful this is, right? So from a single set of long, uh, stem cells, now you can rebuild the immune system of a mouse. So, um, so of course, now we know that this can be done, and um, you know, and so yeah, this is uh, to, to, yeah. to underline the potential to rejuvenate and then not just delay the aging process. So, when you mention refeeding, does that mean that um, soon after you are done with your FMD, those following days, that what you put in your body at that point is very, very important? Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay. So. Imagine, the, so in a sense, the fasting and the FMD is a moment of breaking, taking a whole building and tear it down. But once you tear down the building, if you just stop there, then you have nothing. Uh, but if you get new bricks and new cement, et cetera, et cetera, you can build a new building, brand new. And um, yeah, that's what we did for the immune system, right? So, so now to rebuild that immune system, of course, you have to have enough proteins, enough amino acids, essential fatty acids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even cholesterol becomes important, right? So, uh, yeah, so then lots of the things that may be bad uh, now become essential for the building, rebuilding process. And, uh, yeah, so then you have to have a good diet. And this is why we also, with cancer patients, we, we alternate the FMD with a, a reasonably a very good diet, but also a reasonably high nourishment diet. I understand. That's wonderful information. Okay, so I get a lot of questions. So, uh, in my case, I need the prolonged five-day fasting program to start stem cells in my body. I need them to rebuild the nerves and the blood vessels in my feet and legs. That's what needs to be done. And I'm also going to have to eat really well. I'm going to have to eat really well before fasting. And I'm going to have to eat really well after fasting. So learning more about it. Looking forward to starting the program.